What is going on, gang? I feel truth here. All you feelers, it is Tim. If you did not already know that, um, let me just straighten up this camera here. Straighten it up. Yeah, cool. So on today's video, I wanted to talk about um, how fasting affected my sort of physical body, um, my flexibility, and my my strength. I guess I'll talk about that a brief bit. Um, but mainly, like, as, I, as I, you may have seen me say, one of the ma main reasons I fasted was for mobility in my body and to remove um, and sort of reset my joints or give them a bit more freedom and breathing room. So one of the ways to do that, I've got mango on my top, <laughs> would be to lose muscle. So my body was puffy and inflamed and swollen. And to some people that looks like bulky when my shoulders are big, my chest, my lats. Um, it looks bulky and, and muscular um, but to me I, in the last few years I became aware that my muscle retained its size because of lack of mobility so in order for my joints to keep their integrity and strength they had to, my muscles had to be that size to support the joints through the motions that, that I was putting them through so they couldn't shrink so, my, so because of my poor mobility my muscles had to be big to support it in summary so my goal one of the goals of fasting was to let the muscles, so do no training for two, three months so that my muscles could relax and then I could work on resetting my mobility so that when I do build muscle again, I could build muscle over mobility. I could work on the flexibility and mobility first and then when the muscle builds, it won't have to be so big because it will be built for an efficient functional body. As I said, when it's the body is dysfunctional and the mobility is not there, it has to build bigger muscle to, to have that strength there, do, do, if you follow, if that, if that makes sense to you. And so, I did tests last year for uh, body weight warrior Tom Merrick, as I paid him to be a mobility coach and create a system for me of training. And so I did some tests that he, that he let, led me to do, and so I just did the same tests again, and it's a series of about 12 different positions, and I'll just show the main, the main ones that are the main difference here. And so, here's me, standing um, in normal position just relaxed and you can see me uh, now and you can see me from before you can see the, the, the belly that I had from eating heavy start heavy starch high carb starchy based diet um, and there's me now raw vegan um, still high carb eating more fat the last few days so you can see that side on and front on shots the difference between me then you can see the inflammation in my face and now, and here's one of the biggest things I noticed was the mobility in my shoulders. Now, when I was fasting, I was still walking a bit on my legs, but I wasn't doing any upper body work. And so one of the things that I noticed changed was my shoulder flexibility. And this is called a scratch test. And this is one thing I've always been very far away from, was touching the fingers. And I have actually touched my fingers at one point, shortly after the fast, I think I was more, mobile, uh, more flexible than I am now. Um, but since I've been moving again, it's found a sort of a balance where it's at. And so I've done one week of yoga and I've had one rolfing session. So they may have contributed towards some of this, but that, that's why I want to do these now and show you guys now. This is one week uh, into exercise and five weeks post fast. So the difference what fasting did. So you can see the scratch test on my sort of, is that the left side or the right side? Both arms are in action, I guess. And then the other side, I have uh, more of a tight right shoulder, which doesn't want to set backwards as far. So you can see it's a bit, bit more of a gap on that side. But you can see the difference still between the two, uh, post-fast and during fast. Uh, post-fast and pre-fast. Okay, now, now one, one that to me became like um, the first miracle. One of my biggest goals that I said to Tom when I asked him to be my mobility coach was a squat. I wanted to be able to sit with my bum to my heels and my heels on the floor. And so here, one of the first things that, that I noticed shortly after the fast was it really opened my hips up. So walking, it kept my ankle flexibility similar to where it was and, and knees, but it seemed like it really opened up sort of in my stomach and my hips, not massively. It's not made a major difference on cross-legged, although it is more comfortable now, but you can see here from here, my squat. My bum is a lot lower and my knees track further over my ankles uh, towards the front of my feet. 
can see them looking much more relaxed. Not, and they're still not completely there. And still not, you know, bum to heels. There's still some uh, quad work to be done, some ankle work that will help. But you can see that the bum is certainly a lot lower. So for me, that was amazing. That was astounding. I couldn't, that was, that was like, whoa, that is one of my goals. And I've been trying to work flexibility and doing all this stuff and nothing got there until I fasted. So that's one thing that, not necessarily the fasting did, but my body did when it was fasting. If you, you know, language is important. So the fasting didn't heal it. The body started to heal it when I got out of the way. And so here's another one is the quad uh, stretch. So this is just relaxed, passive. Quads is one of the things that got identified by a physio recently as really tight on me. And that's what pulls on my hip flexors and gives anterior pelvic tilt is one of the reasons it caused that you can get having anterior pelvic tilt is from the quad and that's one of the things I'm working through at the moment and so you can see here with the actually pulling my foot down of course fasting not running every day relax and not jumping relax the quad and you can see how much further more comfortable I am in that position and so this stuff all in 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 one of the goals for me is and you may have heard me say it previously running will identify dysfunction in the, in the joints in the body because you will pick up injuries. And so one of the goals to re return to natural functionality and through things like rolfing, structural integration, returning the body's posture to the mo to its gravity line, as they talk about in rolfing, is so that I can run again. And if you can, you know, when I've been watching the Athletics European Championships this weekend, all the runners, male and female, the best sprinters, you'll see so often their heel, even the sprinters with massive legs, how often their heel will hit, hit their bum or come really close by their bum when they're, when they're sprinting and in full sprint. And as a runner who's just sort of self-taught self and watching other people that, that run, you rarely ever see people run with that sort of functionality. So as, as it's good to keep an eye on the best and what is optimum for a human. And as, you know see how far you are from it and then that's something to work towards so that's something I, I, I wanted to work towards and so yeah that summarizes for me basically a few of the changes I've made I'm going to continue with the yoga and uh, rolfing and so I'll do more content on this stuff after then but I just wanted to give you guys that have followed me to this point an update on sort of the short to, shortly before the fast and shortly after the fast where I'm at and then you know in another few months after a lot more yoga and rolfing as I say we'll come back and we'll revisit some of these postures and I've got some other postures captured as well that just did I didn't notice as much of a difference so I've not showed them but we'll see if any of them change as well and, and I'll let you know what I think and I can identify have been the biggest um, changes and why what what's caused these changes because I think I really I see a lot of advice on YouTube from people like Atlantean X and all this stuff on how to solve anterior pelvic tilt and all these exercises, but I never really see anyone charting before and after and results. And so I'm in a position where I've got the content from before. As long as I continue to capture it now, um, we'll have it. And, and I can let you know what works because it's really a minefield out there of what works and everyone's body is different. It's a proper Rubik's Cube puzzle and it's it's fun to try and solve. And, you know, we, we can only really know what works in our body. I can't tell you what's going to work in yours, but I can offer you some things to try. And um, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the type of video that I'd like to watch. So that's, that's the best videos I could possibly be making right now, if I'm honest with myself. Um, we got chakra t-shirts, green like the heart chakra. We got orange and yellow, solar and sacral coming out, ethics.com. And um, we're getting some more colors out there. It is important if you see like Spirit Science did a video on colors and what colors you have around you. That's not why we've done it, but that's just, if you like spirit science, you want to see more about why. I think that gives some good information, but we're just, I like to wear more colors now, especially since fasting, I'm wearing a lot less black. Um, see me wearing a lot more sky blue as well. So yeah, that's it for this video. Maybe see some of you at Vegan Camp Out and uh, anything else to add. I'm going to be doing some Mindful Warrior training. I think I'm going to do a Mindful Warrior class up in Derby in October maybe, but yeah, you can get, get that mindful-warrior.com, that's going to be part of my training, not started running yet, I'm going to speak to my physio tomorrow, see if she reckons I can start running, I might do a couch to 5k program from the absolute beginning and build up like that, we'll, we'll see, um, but for now, I'll leave it like that, thank you all for following, I love you all, peace out. <sighs>